July 30th, 2025, a rocket launch from India's Satish Dhawan Space Center sees two countries embark on a joint project for the ages. India may not be a country you picture for much space exploration, but this undertaking may well change that perception. NISAR is a much more uh, capable mission than either the U.S. or India would have been able to field on its own. NASA's director of Earth Science says the NISAR mission will deploy the most sophisticated radar that either country has ever put into space. With its almost 40-foot antenna, it will be able to see changes in the Earth's surface of about a half an inch over areas the size of half a tennis court. It transmits the pulses from both antennas. Those pulses bounce off the surface of the Earth, and then that same antenna catches those return pulses. The big dish almost looks like a giant catcher's mitt folding out for maximum efficiency. It's technically a spacefaring two-for-one deal, with two radars operating through the same antenna 464 miles above us. They can see through vegetation, and they can see changes in uh, vegetation. So they will give us an unprecedented view in all weather, day and night, from uh, glaciers to uh, subsidence, that is, land sinking a little bit. Passing over the same areas at regular intervals, NISAR will produce more data than any other NASA mission to date, at 80 terabytes per day, available for free to the public. After some collaboration, NISAR is slated to begin operations sometime in early fall. For This Week's Science Source, I'm Pete Mangione.